Hello everyone and welcome back to Medieval 2. When we left off, we were still trying to make moves on Denmark, uh, but we are blocked by the fact that we are told to cease hostilities, but apparently that means that they can attack us whenever. The uh, ceasefire is only one way, it would seem. Meanwhile, we fought off some of the enemies on our shores, however, this uh, Portuguese army is coming back, even though they didn't actually attack us. They're still just neutral, but we have, um, we fought off the Spaniards. So yeah, we moved away these feudal knights, but they may have to go back retraining some border horse and just training some other small troops, because we're going to just take an army there um, and go take out England, first of all. And our, our economy's back up to sort of a decent shape. We're, we're earning about 3,000 a turn again. Okay, I, I, I definitely don't need to train any more of those there because we can't make a... can't make a uh, crusading army again, which is what we were going to do. And yeah, so other than that, we were just training up some troops. I do believe. Suppose we can make roads over in Stetton. Hamburg shipwright. Building a church there. Maybe we should build a communal farming there since we've pretty much just run out of. Actually, we'll build the inn there. Just for a, a slightly. A slight boost to public order. Because people in Edinburgh are not happy. Although actually, no, you're not going to build anything because next turn we're going to be able to upgrade the walls. So yeah, actually we'll save that money that we would have spent building something. And next turn we might be able to... We actually probably won't. It'll probably be 4,800. And it doesn't seem like we'll have that much. Why are you unhappy? Unrest, religious unrest. So much religious unrest everywhere. Oh, you know what? I'm pretty sure it's because we're low in the Pope's. We're in low standing with the Pope. Is England excommunicated? I don't think they are. We'll probably get in trouble for attacking them as well. We'll just... Everybody, uh... Everybody hates us and wants to attack us, and the Pope hates when we attack anyone. Except France, our good, noble allies in France. Yeah, we also, I think, just lost the diplomat that was headed out to towards Russia and whatnot. He's moved that army out again. I wonder if he's going to keep them there. Theologian's Guild. Interesting? I don't really know what that does. Ooh. Not as much money as we'd hoped for. Ooh, where has this all gone? Probably to recruiting stuff. France is now at war with Spain. Interesting. We've recruited quite a bit in terms of retraining and training. Noble life ends. Oh, we lost our priest in London. Edinburgh is ready to upgrade. The huge stone wall. 9,600! Are you insane? But we can just straight up recruit noble pikemen from there. 9,600. <laughs> We're never going to get that much. Oh my goodness. Our economy is just so poor. Everybody's gotten a little bit happier, though. Is this is there less religious unrest? Well, no, doesn't seem like it. People are just happier now. We didn't go up in standing, did we? No. No. Aye. Scottish assassin. Needs a second. Twenty-eight percent rate. That's not very high, but. Place, then, Let's try it. Come on, snake. Perfect. <gasps> I 
think that's a success. Yes. Did it. You of Carnivarin. Plus one to skill. Destination mission success. Who do you want dead? Excellent. Next turn you'll go after him. Just because there's no other way for us to get rid of the Inquisitors. And they're really making the place unhappy. So that should put it down some. Is that also blocking some of their trade and stuff? The Inquisitors or the Devastation? I don't know. I don't know how this game works or what's going on. Come but on Pretty decent army over here. Um, Aye. One, two, three, four, five, six infantry. Seven archers. And then the rest is cavalry. Where to? Now this army, this army's hurting a bit. I would say. My king. I We are gonna just merge those together because there's no point in having them separate. And okay, now where did all of our money go? You're retraining. Sure, that costs some. Retraining that costs a decent bit. You are. Retraining one. Oh, this this is more. Bit. Did they sail away? Oh, Portugal. Yes, you finally some sense. Waters with you. Can you not tell friend from foe? Yes, my king. I don't. Yeah. Why don't you go practice on them? Oh wow. They shall not see me. Double trait increase. So now he's actually pretty skilled. Five out of ten is pretty good. Uh, I was gonna just send you straight across in the boat, but we have to send this boat over to hopefully sink these ships and get rid of the few troops that they have. No, we didn't sink any, but we didn't lose anyone. We sent them away. Relations worsen with England. Well, they declared war on us, so you know what? They've earned this. My king. Hmm. I was going to leave the border horse there, wasn't I? That's 150. Onward, I lord. I forward. Do I think just the the uh, feudal knights and the Highlanders are enough to take out game? Do we have a spy in there? No, I don't. Your service. What is, oh, you're actually not a great spy. Why? Yeah, you died. Spy. I can I We'll just leave that blockaded for one more turn to complete the mission. Um Do I need to recruit more here? Is I suppose the question. Yeah, we will we will keep training those. Because I My King Wait, do I have a diplomat? We need we need some diplomats right away. <laughs> because uh, I don't know if I have like military access with France, and I don't want to make them upset by just like running around on their lands without permission. Your Highness. You should also feast. And another diplomat, because why not? Merchant at your service. Merchant, you can go down there too. We'll on just ship way. everybody across. Although we will use the ar little army that we build up to get rid of the rebels first. Okay, Morgan Canmore is way too good a general to leave at Stetton. You have a priest there. Yeah, so once these are retrained, we have to leave there's actually no one good to leave suppose we could leave a unit of like highland archers there i don't want to leave it completely undefended but there's no point in leaving good tr strong troops there we'll send him back over this way we had a diplomat going up this way, but they've clearly been killed or, or some such. All right, well, I, I think that's... We'll just say no to the Theologian's Guild. 
now? Theologian, theologian? Who knows? Um, and I think that's that's about all we can do right now. Uh, you know what? We can move the border or so over. Well, we'll move them over next turn. Who cares? We'll end the turn there. Oh yeah, that's our merchant that's moving across because we want him to get to the the ultimate gold spot that gives just so much money. No, Russia, why have you declared war on me for no reason? Gosh, the AI, <laughs> AI in these old games, it just kind of sucks. Like, it makes no sense for Russia to go to war with us. Like, it would make sense if they had an army that had any shot of doing anything to us. Mission success. Three units of dismounted feudal knights. Okay, there we go. Move out! Throw them we into the no force as well. We've marched our limit. Oh, you can go one more unit, can't you? Oh, we have no money. Okay, let's let's look at some things. Russia's declared war on us. Don't know why. All these things recruited. Our military is going strong. Construction complete. Faction announcements. Retinue expands guard dog. Overseer. Translator. Fair in rule. Love this. Good things all around. Ooh, we lost a lot of money, though. The Mongols have the greatest finances and the highest military, which seems astonishing. Um, and then the Holy Roman Empire is leading everything else. Like, they land with an army. <laughs> just a, a baby army of ballistas. Which, it just makes no sense. I mean, they've got huge... Look at this fleet. All the hulks. Ladya into a cog crossed with a longboat. It's not as good as a hulk, but it's better than just a cog, I suppose. But I mean, they've got massive fleets. But they have no army. Like, what does this do? Who are they? They're not allied with anyone. They're not enemies with anyone. They just randomly decide, you know what? We could really siege these ports right now. They won't care nothing. If he can keep the main troops out of Oslo for next turn, and we can get any money to hire, like, one or two mercenary spearmen, we'll attack, and hopefully the gates will open from this. Okay, so don't retrain them, because you're just going to be left there. You know what? We'll leave you there, too. You, though. I guess, yeah, that's where most of the money has gone, in the retraining. My king. I lord. <sighs> My king. There we go. That's our garrison force for Portugal or Spain or anyone else decides to do anything stupid and random Russian navy over there. Come on, sink the ships. Sunk one. Did sustain some casualties. I lord. We march no further today. My king, move out! Aye, lord. Aye. Yeah, that'll be a decent force. Certainly decent enough to take that out. And then we'll start the siege. If the, uh... Moving ashore. Aye, sire. Merchants at your service. I want you to go... That's a mer... <laughs> I trained a merchant, not a diplomat. Merchants at your service. And I didn't even train him from Edinburgh, so they don't have the bonuses. Whatever. I guess you can make As some money. Say, That's, sire. you know, money's good. Opening a new Diplomat. Trade. You're who we want. Go talk to military access. Very demanding. What do they want? If you wish this to remain civil, stop insulting us. Whoa. Whoa, why? This meeting was I want to want to march my soldiers across, but gosh, I didn't think it would upset you so. All right. Um, well, you know what? Then they might just have to march across and too bad for you. 25%, please. Let it work. Oh, he died. Maybe we should have. Has life ends today? King David is a merciless leader because we're using assassins. See, but there's no other way to get rid of an inquisitor. Like, why can't a priest or something else get rid of them? 
leave me with no choice. Just, um, I don't understand why it's flashing. That's that happened. That's the flashing is like if you go to make a building, it'll show you what you have and then in grade like kind of what it could be. Um, but I, I don't understand why it's flashing like that. I, I assume maybe the Inquisitor has something to do with it, but maybe not. Could be anything. What do I know? All right, then if you two are staying, the rest of you can ship on out, right? Uh, you don't love that. Oh, wait. No, you're noble Highland archers. Oh, but we can't retrain those because we don't... It's you that's staying. And that's enough to make them happy. Build a little watchtower there. 200 is kind of expensive, but whatever. Where to? We'll see if these foolish ballistas do anything. You're ready to go. You're just hanging out. Waiting. We're just waiting and waiting. Oh man, our economy has tanked with these extra units that we've created. Like, really tanked. My king. Yeah, if that's how it is, France, we're just gonna march across your land. Sorry, we wanted permission, but you didn't want to. You didn't want anything for it. I bear a message that you would be wise to heed. He's fire. Here's what we're gonna do: trade rights, of course. You're going to give us map info. You may have already, but you're going to give it to us again if you haven't. And then their wealth is meager, but that's not completely broke. 1,000 florins a turn. Nope. Wait, not single payment. No, no, no. Regular tribute. 1,000 florins a turn for five turns. No, I don't see how... 140. Yeah, that does feel pretty generous, doesn't it? Maybe you can't afford that much. Five hundred. We cannot quite accept this. Uh, eleven fifty for two turns. We'll take it. Both wise and it would seem you are very <sighs> These Spanish fools. What are they doing? Denmark, you want Noble peace? Folk. Let us see if we can reach an agreement. Yes. Their reputation is dubious. Nope. We understand. Good Don't mind. want it. Are you trying to like bribe my forces or steal my lord or something? Uh oh, so, oh the Inquisitors are from the Papal States. Is this because the, the Pope hates us? Aspiring commander, confident, defender, brave, skilled bureaucrat, eager, and religious. This guy seems good. He's a little older, but he'll be okay. England. Maybe a ha 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 ha. Four turns. Ooh. We can finally attack Denmark again, but now we cease with England. Why do you feel unappreciated? Why, good sir? Kind of chivalrous, though. A little bit. Holy uh, Roman Empire's allies with Denmark. Spain was at war with Egypt and us, and has gotten truce with both. Morgan Canmore. E. Patrick Vandal. Algon Canmore's got a pagan magician. Thing. Not so pious. I, my liege, we march to glory. I believe piety also I impacts. Um, my king. I, my king. Leave out just the ballista now. 
Leaving the army. Pretty crowded. I joining our forces. I can't by your will, sire. We shall engage. On you to go over there and join I up with them. I can't. I lord. I guess we can I leave the Highlander. Wait, no. It's 175. 125 for I these lord. guys. We have to leave I. them back. I. I. Armies. Leading the men with honor, sire. Take them out. That being blockaded, probably. Are you trying to That's give a little me bit a of income. You will have an enemy to crush. Let's move there and besiege. Them, sire. Those wall, my lord. Oh, and okay, now they're back in. Three, four units of heavy cavalry, including the general. Well, three heavy cav, two heavy infantry, and the general. I, my king. I think if we get two spearmen, then I think we could take them. We'll just... Yeah, I think we could take them still. Ooh, but I don't know... That nine... Do we assault? Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't feel great. Well, I think we just. Marching to engage the enemy, sire. Aye, sire. We will Besiege keep sieging one. them Aye, and slowly sire. wear them down a little bit through besieging. Um, and if they attack us, that's definitely better for us. Because then we can have their cavalry like run into our spearmen, run into them with our cavalry. Command me. Now over here, ooh, they have definitely upgraded what was inside. It used to be just all militia and stuff, but now they've got a couple. Well, I guess that's still militia, but sword staff militia are like pike spear units, and the Norse war clerics look look very strong. They've got some stronger units. And it's a full army, so, you know, we might be able to beat them, but I have to siege these places out some, so be it. My king. March. Don't we have a spy in there? Yes, we do. How is this even? Like, I get they've got armored swordsmen, but one unit of male knights, five units of feudal knights. You know, I was going to say, this, this should be way in our favor. I'll just auto-resolve. Yes, auto, auto resolve. Form up for battle. Form up for battle. Yeah. No, we're not going to... Not going to auto-resolve with those odds. Well, there's no archers in sight here. Guess we'll just go three on. Go two on one side, two on the other, and then these guys in the middle, just as support. Now, are they going to run at us at all? Nope, they're just going to wait. Hey, everybody, move forward some. send you out there as well. Go, 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 go. What is happening?
come on. They didn't even kill any. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I get that they're better troops. 13, 3, and 22. Good morale. But these guys, effect they only have 5 defense, sure, but they do have 11 attack and they're effective against armor. You'd think, charging into them, they should kill a few. And I don't understand why they broke so fast. Like, they don't have a general either. Okay, they are broken and routing. So, well, it's all going to be on the feudal knights then, I suppose. Let's see if we can kill the general here. All our Highlanders are absolutely useless. The Victor enemy seems general certain. has no honor. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. Oh, you are taking heavy losses. The prolonged melee is really bad for us here. Are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Wavering. Broken. Okay, hit those guys. And all of you now can come running back. Bunch of cowards. So we didn't actually lose that many, but gosh, I'm just very disappointed with how fast they broke. But I think that's having a general like really, really, really matters for your troops' morale. Like if you don't have a general, they break so easily, which is also part of why the rebel armies break so easily. Like there, obviously we did charge them with the cavalry, which dealt a blow to them, but they should have been totally fine because... Uh, they were just so far ahead in the battle, essentially. Um, let me just, yeah, let's just merge you up a little bit. Get on. Get shipped across. Go bad. Well, at least we've got some good infantry coming in. So what do you, we know that they have a couple. I did not mean to hit end turn, but you know what? I'm sure it's fine. There wasn't anything else we needed to do. We'd moved everything. We were good. Maybe we wanted to look at a few things, but really all I'm doing there is wasting time. Yeah, it's definitely not helping our income that our ports over there are just getting constantly blockaded. But they have so Here comes Portugal. They're going to declare war. We're going to wipe this army out. And then they're going to just want peace, desperately. Poland, what is it this time? You're trying to bribe again. Papal states moving their inquisitors all over the place. Rebels, yeah, maybe you can give Holy Roman Empire some trouble. All that is holy, dear Pope. The proposal for the princess's hand. We need Canmore. We declare by. Uh, oh, that's. Yep, yeah, we can make that happen pretty easily. Am I to offer a simple proposal, or my hand? Your hand. For Scotland's future. Indeed, for Scotland's future, James of Ayrshire feels respected. Oh, yeah, look at all this loyalty. Amazing. Stephen Canmore, overseer, monk. Wow, we've gone into the negatives. Because Cairnarvon's been besieged, and the rebels have popped up next to it. I don't understand how the rebel armies work we would see you dead, heathen. I think whatever they have there's only six of them I th I think we should be good enough to hold them we'll have our town militia hold them at the wall and gate we'll have our border horse run around the side from a side Aye. gate and attack them we will not here's the real question though oh that's, that's a pretty big fleet Aye. Aye, sire. We'll 
Oh, and they're all war galleys. I kind of actually don't want... Well, okay, let's fight one. But then we don't want to fight anymore. Portuguese Navy. Russian Navy. Think of the Russian Navy. Nice. Sunk a ship. Ooh, and you're up to a gold experience. France. Are you at war with England? No, you're not. Just wondering what you're doing there. I don't want you to snatch this. Ugh, and they're making dismounted feudal knights. Of course they are. My king. It's okay, we have even more infantry now. Still no general. Aye. We have to get these knights Move over up. there so they can form the main wall that clashes and then our highlanders hit from the side and then our cavalry hit from the flank. Oh, you did get a diplomat. Oh, imperial family member way out there. Always good to see you, mon ami. How it can is. Help? It's good to see you as well. Is there anything I can... You know what? No, forget well it. Done. No military access yes, because of course, we'll just sir. walk through your lands. You don't want to give it to us? We'll just march through anyways. See, so like, this is one where I don't think I'm going to fight it because look at this, 25 to 1. We lost four men. I probably would have actually lost more if I fought that myself. Enemy army routes. See, now the Pope does not care, I don't think, if we fight Russia because they're not Catholic. Begging for their lives. No, 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 don't don't assault. But we will be excommunicated. Lift to siege. Lift to siege. But stand there and be ready. Here's what's gonna happen. Next turn, both these armies are gonna attack at once. And with the ballista, we're just gonna go right in. We're just gonna go for it. Ooh, it's gonna be there. Oh, there's gonna be so many losses. I have to make sure that I, I blend them to make sure we get the ideal composition of troops in the one army that we'll be controlling mostly. Obviously, led by Morgan Canmore because he is a master of warfare. We should be making money next turn. I need you to get over there. I really do. The extra 360 could make a big difference for us. Nope. No chance you can take them out. No chance. Yeah, I, think, I guess you stick with your 38 a turn. My king. Uh, and now we're just waiting for the hostilities to cease. Uh, will be nice to get the extra thousand though from the from the princess, and we'll probably have to fight that as well. Oh, just kill the guy! He's running all over the place. <laughs> Look at those retreat lines. Yeah, you know, I'm also... I, uh, the thing is, I know I, I talked about last episode about, like, taking out England there, and then maybe just, if they continue to bother going down, like, sailing an army down for Spain and Portugal down there. Um, and one part of me is like, yeah, that could work. But the other part... Oh, 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 oh. This? This is perfect. Perfect. Okay, he's going to attack us, which means his infantry is going to be running at us means we can hit them around the flanks and things with our cavalry much easier and all of them are going to be drawn into the flight 
fight. We just need to make sure that we kill both generals here, including the king. Right, lads! Get ready to give them hell! I just... I... I guess I have to charge with my feudal knights first, and then hit them with the... Uh, my Highlanders, because otherwise the Highlanders just melt. Which really is very disappointing, but... Alas. I'll just put you over there, because you're essentially useless. You're not even the Spear Militia, so you're not even good against cavalry. This hill is hill enough, I think. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. We're not going to run too far back because we'll just let them come into us. Dismounted feudal knights, heavy knights, general's bodyguard. No, 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 no. Why, why, I want to select all of you. Goodness. Oh, can you take him out? Okay. Quickly charge at them. You hit them in the back. You go hit the general's bodyguard in the back. If we can take out the general fast, it would be absolutely massive. That charge did absolutely nothing. But it says they're shaken now. This is not going ideally. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. All of you go after. Go after them. Oh, they're they're fleeing. Yes. Okay, it is working. We are taking them out. Everyone, everyone take out the general. We can speed things up a bit. No, general, the general. I don't care about anyone else, the general. The general. Yes. Dead. We have sent the car to hell. Look how our cowardly foe runs. It is time to press the attack. I will let you chase them down. I'm gonna disable wedge formation, because I don't even really know how much help that's giving you. Oh, there's one of you left. Yeah, we lost so many of our feudal knights in this. But that's okay.
no survivors. Bring them all down. Yeah, we'll just charge everything we have at them. And just swarm them. And just see. Obviously, they'll probably do pretty well. The battle is very much but... in our favor. If we remain true Oh yeah, he's gonna last, retreat. Come on. Will be bring them down. I don't I don't think we will. No, he's just fully retreating. Oh, that's so annoying. If we could have killed the king, then his unit would have died. They would have had no one left in the castle. We could have just taken By it over. Saint Andrew, our foe is utterly vanquished. Let all who remember this day remember it as the day of our most glorious victory. I guess yeah, it still counts as a heroic victory, despite the fact that we had double their num more than double their numbers going in. Yeah, the feudal knights took some hefty casualties, and there's no standout units. I mean, like. 42 kills on Feudal Knights, but they did lose 22. Oof. A costly victory. But you know what? Let's look at this in another, more positive light. That's a lot less gold that we're paying to them. A lot a fewer Florins. We are, uh... Yes, please. No. Let us live, sire. But my lord... Execution. No mercy for them. They brought this upon themselves. Hopefully that means they are excommunicated because they attacked me. I doubt it because it seems like these cease fires work only one way, which I really dislike, but it's all crossbowmen. Which like, they're really, really strong crossbowmen. They've got great defense and a really strong attack that's effective against armor and long range missiles. But... Like, this is, this is not going to go well for them. It's, you need at least one unit that's going to do well once they're on the walls. Or Although, actually, you know, they've got decent defense. They might beat my just militia, but the cavalry should be able to wipe them out a little bit. To beginning the upper hand in this battle. All right. I guess you just stand there. Well, no, there's no point. Perfect. Here we go. Border horse. Come on. There we go. Get outside. Look at our towers go. Gosh, these towers are doing work on them. Yeah, the, the trouble will just be if they... Uh, Let's get our general a little farther away. Actually, no. Are they... Yeah, they are shooting at you. Is that... I thought their arrows were like rain that I was seeing. They're just l totally losing it. Here's what we're gonna do. Crossbow. They're not meant for melee. Yes, they've got good defense, but... Victory is a distinct possibility. How? Oh yeah, they're routing. 
charge into them. Hit them in the rear. Can you can you come join the fight? Good tidings. Oh, there's the general. general here goes dead. the rest of them. We have set the cut to hell. For the moment the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. We'll exit it there. By Saint Andrew, is utterly vanquished. Yeah, that was. All who remember we've got nothing to worry about. We don't need to bring any more troops over here, victory. because the armies that they throw that throw at us are always sad like that. Now, granted, if those had been some good melee units, like as we saw, like dismounted chivalric knights or something, would have maybe been a different story. But I think we still win that pretty handily. Oh, leave it off, Denmark. I hope... Yeah, I was going to say, I took, like, the general and all the good troops out of there. I hope that doesn't make it easier for them to bribe. It probably does. But, uh... Suitable prince? Or Brunild and more? No, aren't you... I, my king. Yeah, you're already... I am ready to approach them, father. Oh, I pray he's kind on the eyes. Okay. Uh... Okay, yeah, moving up and everything a little bit. What you got over there? Gone? One unit. Ugh, Spain with more units. Just give it a rest. What are you? you. Basically you nothing. Welsh spearmen. Yeah, we're not going to fight that. We definitely lost more than we should have, but... Oh, well. Fine. Move back in. Retrain. My king. Aye. My king. He feels appreciated now. I. I'd never take oh, they're going to drop off those units, despite the fact that there's so few of them left, but I can't well. attack it because of the sea hostilities. And we still have four more turns. It was five turns for Denmark. I really, I think that's my biggest beef with this. Is just that we can't attack England, but they attack us, and that's okay. Should we just risk the excommunication? Should we just, like, risk it? Just go for it? Part of me really wants to just go for it. But you're going to march your way down to the Papal States, so that we can figure out what's going on there. Okay? Um, you're making good money. Oh, yes, you good, sir. Oh, there's not even anyone here. All of a sudden, getting 368. And look at the money we're making with Carnarvon unseaged and... Oh, you're getting less happy. Oh, you can almost upgrade to a city next... They would probably be able to upgrade faster if they weren't constantly under siege, but... Edinburgh will never be a huge city. <laughs> so expensive. My king. That's right. But again, that army can attack English. London, and like, who I cares? Get aboard, lad. All ashore, lad. Fleet ready. We're not ceasefired with the Portuguese, are we? Surrender these waters easily. This is how we're gonna do it. Nice. You want us gone? Then do something about it. Oh, we did lose. I knew we would probably lose one. Oh, well. But that's... I want to get rid of some of these guys. Yeah, see, like, if it was all units of dismounted Portuguese knights, that would make things a lot more difficult. But, alas. We march to glory. Can I be of service? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I almost... Uh, I was going to say want to make peace with them for now, but no, I want to make peace with 
Portugal and Spain and all these random places uh, and not have to deal with them ever again. But that feels unlikely. I'm at war with a massive power over here and they aren't attacking me and we do border. It's just these other like minor places that they uh I guess they just have no one else to attack. Is it just because they're enemies with France? Yeah, probably. S Portugal and Spain, enemies with France, and then they attack us. Spain's also allied with Sicily? Which... Is the religion... They're excommunicated. Oh, Spain's excommunicated too. You know what? Forget it. Oh, and they're excommunicated... What am I doing? Send all I these can. troops. I, Send them down. I am a king. Of course. I can. I can. Now what everyone, oh. we're taking a field trip. We're going down. We're going to take out Spain and Portugal. That's going to be easier. That's, we just, we have to, if we want to work with the Pope here, we have to fight people that are not Catholic. Um, I, now if we can just get through Denmark, then we could go to war with Russia over here. Or anyone else or just remain well russia keeps going to war with us but uh well it looks like we might finally maybe gain money again train yeah we gotta start retraining some of these ships we're we're losing some naval power here uh but that's okay we'll end the turn and then that will probably be it. Let's see what fresh hell this turn brings. I also think it's too bad that we couldn't, like, our king died of natural causes. So then the crusading army without a leader, they all just, like, Quit, essentially disbanded um, and then we couldn't send a new one which I think is too bad because I would have happily sent off another crusading army and gone on the crusade and we probably would be near uh, Tunis by now That's that is Sicily controlled uh, and if we could do that if we could you know, take part in the crusade and actually complete it then we'd gain huge favor from the Pope which would help. France and Spain ceased our studies. Retraining. Coming of age. Gordon of Clare. Wait, was that two coming of age? Or is, have we just had another person there? Maybe he came of age last turn and I missed it. They're just the proper severe. Oh, fair enough. Isle, knight fighter, talent for command. Great, excellent. Read, and uh, yeah, you've been there. Donald of Lanarkshire. Oh, that's the person that we married when he was 38. Okay, we gotta take the two of you out of here. Oh, maybe over to here. Spain would. Okay. Okay, they brought a real army this time. Still only swordsman militia. Yeah, but. Sort 11 and 18, that doesn't seem very militia-like. This seems pretty strong for just militia. But I guess swordsman militia is, like, very high tier. That would be equivalent of our, like, heavy pike militia. Maybe. Um, so that's definitely more worrying. You're going to recruit more of those. And... We're going to need to send some people over. Maybe. Depending on what the other units are, we might still be okay. If it's all swordsman militia, we're in trouble. If it's a bunch of, like, peasants or range or crossbowmen, any sort of ranged unit or catapults, then we're okay. Because any ranged units we can just hit with our cavalry, and it'll be all right. If it's all, like, tough melee, though, that's going to be Antwerp. Ready to upgrade... Oh, into a large city. And, oh, Dublin's almost ready to up. Okay, let's do this, too. Scotland. Am I to offer a Marriage celebrations. Mission success. Mission found. That man my betrothed. He's 
joining the family. Stop. Stop talking to me. <laughs> My goodness. Just keeps going Citadel, the highest upgrade. Also 9600. <laughs> oh, man. Would allow noble swordsmen, though, which, as we've discussed, are our best. They're better than dismounted feudal knights in every way. More defense, just slightly more armor, a lot less upkeep. Feudal knights, still very expensive. But definitely better than mailed knights. The only difference is a little bit more armor um, and slightly higher recruitment cost. Some money, but we're hardly rolling in money anymore. So we're set to gain about 2,500 turns. We can spend all this and we'll recuperate it. Elite ready. One turn left on England, three left on Denmark. Aye. This cog's doing pretty well, all that XP. King. Oh, he's making, them. they're just making hulks? That's, that's very good. Next turn, we're gonna take out England. We're just gonna wipe them off the face of the map. One less constant problem to deal with the enemy, eh? we do not seek any trouble with you you want us gone then do stay sire we'll be forced to engage the enemy hi lads victory we are not contesting this you know i probably shouldn't have gone that close because if they attack me together I... oh they are neutral still I, my king. can you recruit any mercenaries They have really high recruitment costs, but they don't have super high upkeep cost. It might be worth recruiting one mercenary crossbowman. The Welsh spearmen are just pretty garbage. Just one unit of crossbowmen? Well, no, I could just I could just make some archers. That have way, way lower cost there. We just th throw some cheap peasant archers over there. Okay, you know what? We'll deal with that when we get back, though. That is more than enough for this episode. Uh, they will continue to be uploaded, and at some point in the future, I will uh, get about starting some of the other playthroughs, so keep an eye out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.